<laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, it is Team List Tuesday, the Roosters and the Panthers, and a Scott from Rabina sends this through. Can you please play the Sattler clip? And now it's from Printers, away the girdler. It's come off the feet of the Roosters. Fiddler's gone after it. Then he scoops the ball away to Byrne. Byrne puts on a fend. Then he puts on a sprint. Sattler is chasing. Sattler is made. Uh, Scott from Rabina also writes here, can you also get everyone to listen to Sports Day this afternoon from 6 o'clock? Uh, yes, Scott from Rabina, uh, we will do that. Uh, Sam Walker's been cleared, Brian, after two independent doctors appointed by the NRL Chief of Medical Officer, ruled his Category 1 against the Rabbitohs should have been deemed a Category 2. Yeah, who was it approved by? Sorry. <laughs> two independent doctors. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet you they were Greek. Uh, Nick. He's, <laughs> he's joined by the halves. Nick uh, by, oh, by Luke Keary. Hello. So he served the... <laughs> <laughs> it's sales, mate. Uh, Lindsay Collins out. <laughs> Lindsay Collins is Ooh. gone. Uh, please tell me Egan Butcher comes in. Uh, replaced by Terrell May in the starting side. And where is Egan? What Egan Butcher's on the bench. Oh, good. Good. He's too good for reserve grade. He is too good. So the front row rotation, uh, Jared Hargreaves, uh, May, and uh, Nafahu White's there as well. Egan Butcher, Angus Crichton on the bench. Uh, Michael Jennings, 18th man again for the Penrith Panthers. No Nathan Cleary, we know that. He'll miss up to four weeks for the hamstring concern. Scott Sorensen's also a key out for the Panthers. Brad Schneider, he's the new number seven. Gee, that's a big jumper to fill, isn't it? The number seven of the Panthers. Mm. So that's his first game back in England, uh, back in the NRL after England, rather. Luke Garner promoted to the starting side. Maverick Geyer. The son of 1991 grand final hero, Mark, will make his NRL debut off the bench, Brian. Awesome. Yep. Good on you, Mavi. And it was that very ground where... It was. I know, I know it's all changed since the Sydney Football Stadium, but I still reckon it's one of the most underrated tries of all time, the Brad Izzard try, where Mark Guy had been sinbinned, he comes back on and almost turns the game. Offloads to Fred. Is yep. that when Freddie goes through, pass it Hur over his left over shoulder? over the top of someone, yep. That was Fat Freddy. Yeah. Big, fat, mouth drilled Freddy. <laughs> Just getting stuck at the waterworks there. Mm. Oh, that were the days. Uh, Rabbitohs take on the Bulldogs, Brian? Uh, yes, we have no audio because the tourist, uh, pulled back the curtain, he got it wrong. What, what did you get? Just tell us what happened, tourist. So I got a clip. Just, let's just play the clip. Okay, no, well, he um, did do the bell. Okay, yeah, you I played got it. the bell. Come on, That's Sue. what I got. Now, it's not over yet. There's Russell Crowe. He's with Albert Clift. And the bell... Albert has is that was at the very first premiership match between South and North in 1908. But inherited the bell as part of his duties as timekeeper for the Rabbitohs. And Russell bought the bell and vowed that it would not be rung until South were back in the competition. And he promised Albert Cliff would have that honour. Okay, so no, we had to play that. I'm glad okay. we did because yeah. that was in 2002. Correct. And your hair stand up, Albert Clift, who at the time was the oldest living South Sydney supporter. Yep. He passed away, sadly, at the age of 101 in 2005. Yep. And then, of course, they bring the same bell back in 2014. Correct. Ahead of the 2014 grand final, rung by this time. Was it Bob? Bob McCarthy. Yeah, Bobby McCarthy. I wonder, I mean, he paid a lot of money for it. I wonder if that was uh, had to be sold. Remember he had the divorce sale? Yep. And Russell broke up with... Uh, Sotheby's. Oh. Yeah, remember they came in? Yes. It was a, and you could have bought the bell. I wonder if he kept the bell. And you know who was, I think, uh, was alongside the bell at the same time? Russell was pushing for him to be involved in this. Roy. No. Roy Bell. No, 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 no not Jason either. Uh, who, who was the... Matthew. Bi who was the big out in that team? Who? Oh, uh, Luke. Isaac Luke. Isaac Luke. Isaac Luke. And Russell Crowe was trying to push him. And of course, Happy Corusio wins a comp in his like, ninth game or something. What's he, oh. won? He's won, what's he won now, Happy? Three. 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 Three, Three I think. Last year. Three. Uh, take us through the Rabbitohs and the Doggies. Okay. So, um, well, Demetrio, he hasn't made ma any mass changes. So, the only real change is that Damien Cook will come into the starting site. Okay. That was a late change anyway. So, he's he was there was talk that maybe Hawkins, because Ilias played a pretty strong game in reserve grade, but he's resisted that. As I mentioned earlier, my mail is Cameron Murray struggling big time to play yeah. to play this game. For the Bulldogs, there hasn't been it was unchanged. Obviously, you would think that on the drubbing Frank drubbing of uh, the Titans, but Josh Adokar, he's he's in the list. He's in the reserves, as is Bronson Cherry, who can't be far away from getting a start somewhere. Maybe coming off the bench, Cherry. Bronson. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Do you think there's going to be? I kind of feel like he's going to be there, and then, but they said defence is still a concern for right, him. Right. Okay. But do you feel like they keep putting him there, putting there, putting there, so they can just slide him in late one week when they decide to? Maybe. Yeah. Because to obviously... avoid all the sort of drama around it. Yeah. Don't know, but I mean the centres are going. The centres have been going going good. You mean Kiraz? I still think he'd be good at fullback. Anywho, Brooks, you're on. Broncos Cowboys, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 7 p.m. local time. Big one. Cowboys 3 and 0, but the Broncos, so Reese Walsh is out, replaced by Tristan Saylor. Adam Reynolds returns from a knee injury, so Jock Madden makes way for him. Jaden Hunt comes into the back row for Brent Brendan Piakura, who came off today at training with an ankle injury. Veteran Corey Oates comes onto the bench for his first NRL game since round 27 last year. Marty Tapao drops to reserves. Cowboy Zach Laybutt returns in the centres after being a late withdrawal last week with an ankle injury. Uh, so And Tommy Chester, who came in for Zach, will revert back to 18th man. Okay. Who do you like here, boys? Oh, I don't know, Brian. No, neither do I. I, I don't know. Um, it's a hard one, isn't it? Uh, it's not a gimme putt for, for the Cowboys, nah. that's for sure. I thought there was some doubt on Ruben. Our man. Yeah, so yeah. he had a bit of an ankle issue late in the Dragons game. Came off. Looked like he had heavy strapping on that ankle, but seems like he's fine. They're looking for 4-0. and They looked really good. Obviously, that opportunity. Yep. Raymond Vitale Mariner. But good but sides. They, they I, looked good. I've got the Bulldogs. In, I mean, sorry, the cows in my eight. But good sides don't do defensively what the Dragons no. did to them. That was my worry. Yeah. It was so early in the game, and they just opened up like the heads. Yeah. Yep. And, and they were that close to losing it. Uh, crap stat for you boys. Crap stat. Uh, we're just testing out the Maestro here. If you haven't got it, Maestro, uh, you haven't got it. Okay. Crap stat. They're only two. Oh. Crap stat. Crap okay. stat. Got there. So, okay, thank you, Maestro. There are two players in the competition who have scored in every round so far this year. They are both in this game, and there's one on either side. Do you know who they are? In this game? Yo Soy. Yo Soy. Yeah. Soy Capitan, and, Soy Capitan. And, and Felty. Who? No. Lebo? Nope. No, you missed. Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a forward. No. Isn't it? No, no, it's, it's a bit Oh, Didi. Dearden. Dido. So Dearden and uh, Dean Mariner are the only two players still in the competition that have scored in every round to this point. And, of course, this, when you think about the Broncos and the Cowboys, and, uh, and after the grand final, in fact, there was many, many close games, but you think of this. Tackle five. This is the last. It's bounced away to Thurston. Comes up Blair. Got rid of Blair. Pushes away from McCulloch. Thurston gets the ball to Morgan. Morgan crosses the 20. Comes away to O'Neill. Gets the ball away. And Felt. Felt has scored. Felt has scored in the corner. Well, if you don't believe in fairy tales, we might see the giant fairy tale of all time. You know what's underrated about that try? You hear it the call with Rabs, and a great call. He says, the ball's with Morgan. He crosses the 20. Yeah. So he gives the ball virtually on the try line. You forget he ran 20 metres. Sliding. Backpedalling on your line. It's a no-no. Yeah. No-no. Hold your line, winger. How many times do you see wingers come in? I know that would be a hard position to to defend. I've never done it. But why do we see wingers all, a lot of times coming in? Is it just communication? Yeah. Is that is that the only Not issue? Trusting. Not trusting. trusting. You're going to have some trust. Trust issues. Uh, it would be bad of me not to mention Reese Robson is in the nine for oh, the Cowboys. Oh, yes, double R's. And there was a battle in the previous game, Tavita Totola oh. and the coach of the Bulldogs, Cameron okay. Seraldo. Yep. That's good, TT. Who's the only AA that Wall takes through? Hmm. Albert. That'll come through. Dragons, the Manly boys, you think a couple of things. Uh, one of the teams won by 60, didn't they? Back in the... Uh, the late 90s. 61 nil. I think it was 94. Who beat Rookie? who? It was Manly, Manly. over the Dragons. Manly so George, Dragons. that is. Yes. Pre, oh. pre-merger. What the 96 grand final. Go and watch. Do yourself a favour and how the game's changed. If you look up the highlights of the grand final 1996, what you'll see is you'll see Jeff Tuvey get absolutely ironed out, which in today's game is the greatest concussion event you'll see. Mm. So he gets whacked. Stumble, stumbles, hit the sit oh, stick right, again, yeah. and the very next highlight clip is Tuvi running through, setting up a yeah. try. <laughs> how under that one rule, how things change, and not only that, ahead of that grand final, uh, Matthew Ridge gets ironed out with concussion. He shouldn't have played in that grand final. Yep. Does he kick a goal after from the that? sideline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different games, different games. Isn't it funny? Like that's only 
30 years ago, 30 yeah. odd years ago, yep. how much research. What, I wonder what's going to happen in another 30 years. Like, what are we going to find out? Yeah. It's just so a, you can't drink Gatorade. No, evolution. It makes, no you, makes you impotent. Uh, we'll I'm just a, saying that. Gatorade, don't come yeah, at me. Not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Could be. That's a <laughs> could loose be. statement. Tourists. Loose, Gatorade. Yeah, loose Take Gatorade. the reins, tourists. Dragons <laughs> versus the sea eagles. Just a purple one. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of alliteration, <laughs> Michael Mola, he drops out of the squad for his uh, brother Francis Mola. Uh, he returns, as does Jacob Little and Jaden Sua. They're all back. Uh, Jack DeBell and Jesse Marshke and Raymond for Taylor Mariner. Uh, they are all moved to the interchange bench. Uh, Hamas Sally is back from a hamstring injury, so he's on the bench too. Mulheisen, Michael Molo, and Viliami Fafita all drop out of the side. No changes for the Sea Eagles. Same 17 as last week. Tafoa Sibley is back from suspension, but he cannot find a space in the squad. Okay. All right. Uh, blockbuster this one. Titans taking the Dolphins. So Jaden Campbell is back at fullback. Geez, they need that, don't they? They just need mm. to find points. That'll make a big difference. Definitely. Having a bit of strike there. So Jaden Campbell is there. Tanner Boyd keeps his spot at halfback mm. uh, for the time being. And a big number 18 is David Fafita. So he's number 18 for the Gold Coast. Kenny Bromwich, number 18 for the Dolphins. With the Dolphins, Ray Stone returns from concussion. He replaces Jared Wallace on the bench. That's the only change of the 17, which hammered the Dragons in round two. And, of course, had the bye last week, which means Cody Nicarima is good to go after picking up a head knock in round two. So he'll stay with Isaiah Katara in the halves, Sean O'Sullivan in the reserves. Warriors take on the Knights, Brian. Yes, over there in Auckland. And Tua Picky, he had the concussion issue, so he's out. Guess who's back? Ooh, back again. Return to sender. RTS is yep. going to be back at fullback. What a swap. Yep. What a, what a, imagine having that in your arsenal. Yep. Just to go, right, oh, sorry, to a piggy. I'm going to have uh, RTS go in. So Adam Pompey will be back in the centres while on the bench, New Akora comes big, back in. Big in. Big in. Mm. Yep. So he's playing his first game of the year. Remember he had the, the foot injury. Dylan Walker's named on the bench, and this is a big in if he does play. Wade Egan He's a good chance of coming back as well. He's named, whether or not, because he had the elbow entry. And then let's go over to the Knights. Uh, Daniel Sofidi is going to be elevated into the starting row because Leo Thompson got the one-game ban. Brady Jones comes onto the bench. Jack Cocker. Cogger. What is Barry. He? Barry Cocker. <laughs> Talk know. about buttered sausage, where it comes from, <laughs> what it does. Jack Cogger, not Cocker. Jackie Cogger is, again, number seven. So Jack O. Hastings is going to be... Uh, in second grade. That's the only change. And Brooks, take over, sir. Well, Sharky's Raiders, 6.15 Australian Eastern Daylight Time at Shark Park. Let's go to the Sharky's team. They're missing. Okay. How many games of NRL experience from their squad are they missing? Um, Just have a guess. For this game, well, he's too odd. Uh, 200 and something is our man. Mm. I'm going to say it's, it'll be nudging 400. It is nudging 5. 491 Ouch. games worth of experience in the middle of the park out for this clash. Clash for Nukin, Royce Hunt, Toby Rudolph. They all picked up injuries last week. Braden Hamlin, Hamlin Ueli is out on the sidelines. So the change, Kale Iro comes in oh, in the centres, awesome. which means CSC for Talakai moves into the second row, and Jack <laughs> Williams goes to the bench. Daniel Atkinson and Tuku Hau Tapuha. Tapuha, are the yeah. New faces just, on the interchange bench. I think he was in the team in round two. Yep. He was Massive the changes for the Sharkies. Coming up against the Raiders uh, for the second round in a row. No room for Corey Horsburgh. So he is in oh, wow. reserves. New South Wales Cup. He, Cup. No, he's on the he's on reserve. He'll play, won't he? Surely he plays. I know he's number nineteen. Is. So, what, Adam Mariotta and... No, I don't, I don't think he will. No, on the okay. bench. I think they'll want to get some game time into him. Right. I honestly do. Yep, so he's in New South Wales Cup this week. few changes in the back line. James Schiller will come in for his first NRL game of the year on the wing. Seb Chris is returning from his concussion. He'll be in the centres. And Jordan Rappiner will play his 200th game at fullback. Oh. Uh, so Jesse Ramian is on the right-hand side. So Kale Iro will play on the left. Him versus Timoko. Jeez, that'll be a nice little uh, debut, won't it? Um, oh, I'm pleased for Kale Iro. And him and Daniel Atkinson have almost broke Guinness Book of Records of being 18th men. So good on them both uh, for coming into the side there. Is um, So, Cottridge dropped? He was last week. 
Yeah. He made way. He's been, he's been in and out he's of the side. So when did they play? I thought he was in last the week. The Warriors Oh, game. yeah, the Warriors, sorry. He just spilled that ball, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he, I think he was on Dallin's wing, wasn't he? Was he on Dallas? Correct, that's what And that, that's a hard place to defend against the Warriors. Uh, Righto, Tourist, uh, Easter Monday, the Eels taking on the West Tigers. Significant West. in for the Parramatta Reels. A try scoring specialist at Combank oh. Stadium and a big, big out. Hang on, Tourist. Um, we're bringing this back. So, South, I mean, sorry, Parramatta playing who? West Tigers. Yeah, you've got to sing it. West Tigers? Yeah, but you know, West Tigers. <laughs> I don't know the West Tigers song. Yeah, we, we can't find it. So that's how they did it. The fans oh, got up and said, a West Tigers. You've got to sing that. So say, West Tigers. Eels taking on the West Tigers. That's it. Yeah, exactly yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, really passionately, they do it more passionately. Our man Troy Phillips is here too. Get ready, punters. There he is. Hey, I want to talk about a game. I reckon this is the best comeback that almost happened. Do you remember this game in 2012? Benji Marshall kicks a field goal at half time. There is 12 minutes remaining at Parramatta Stadium, and the score is 31-0. Do you remember this game? Uh, yes, vaguely. 31 nil with 12 minutes to go. Vaguely. And it ends up 31-30. Yeah. Parramatta versus the Tigers in 2012. Is that when Sturlow went through and gave it to the Zip Zip Man? No, scored in the corner? no, no. no that There's wasn't. been some good regular season games between these two. Wasn't there the Marshall Hayne game at the SFS? Yes. It was unbelievable. Try assist. Yep. And then two opening ago, the stadium. The Easter Monday when Jacko Hastings kicked the field goal. That was Boom. a, that That's was a right. doozy. Yeah. I yeah, think we're yeah. in for a good one. Uh, they've got a good record the last three games. The Tigers, they won by one. They lost by six, lost by eight. So they don't fear Parramatta, even in their big run and the and the failings that have been there for the Tigers in recent times. Uh, what do you got, Turi? With Mitch Moses out with a fractured foot, Blaze Talungi will Ooh. be the new 5 8 oh, for the Eels. Wow. <laughs> Cut mustard. Moving from the centres straight into 5 8. Uh, big uh, move on the wing. Mike Acevo returns to a suspension. <laughs> Bailey Simonson has been left in reserves um, after sitting out for round three with a concussion. The West Tigers. Sorry, what was it again? He's better West, there. West Tigers. West Tigers. They are going to make just one change to the team. Twal, Alex Twal is out with a concussion. So Asukapo takes his spot. Jeez, Will Penasini will be wrapped. He gets to mark Justin Olin, won't he? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, so, so must have gone. Must have not even in the no. uh, on the reserves. No. He must be injured. No, must have. I, I'm gonna, this is going to be good. I reckon young Blaze was just told, dummy and run, son. Yeah, big running game. Big running game. Yeah, it's good.